What's up guys, Knife Life 116 here. Today I want to talk about this knife here, the Kaiser Original XL Titanium with this beautiful frag pattern. Got a very, very beautiful S35VN stone washed drop point blade. Very slicey. Almost a full flat grind, not quite a full flat grind, but pretty much for the most part. Got a really good job done on the sharpening toil and plunge grind. This is one of the best that I've seen in a while. Had this knife for almost a year now, and this is kind of like a follow up, but uh, I gotta say, this is another one that I'm just thoroughly imp impressed with. If you guys watched my last video, I made a video on his little brother. And this guy is, wow. It, the S35 VN definitely outperformed the 154 CM on the other one, but it, that's to be expected uh, with this being a premium still. So it's definitely held its edge a lot better. And it's just been, a phenomenal knife just no complaints whatsoever on this knife here if uh we go up here you can see that they did kind of like a selected number on this run but there's the numbers there's your blade still this knife is extremely light you can see all the milling that they did on the inside Sorry guys, it does have some pocket lint and stuff in there and whatnot. This is a user. Uh, I use all my knives, but <clears throat> two barrel spacers in the back and that awesome plunge lock system. This one's even better than the mini or the regular, but D10 is just way more snappy on this one. Got some of the best acoustics in the game, man. Like, wow, so I could do that all day. I love the way this guy sounds. But yeah, going back to that plunge grind and sharpening chill, check that out, guys. Just done beautifully, really good. Uh, a lot of knife companies are failing big time in this area nowadays, but I just really love the way this one was done. Really like this pocket clip too. Love how they uh, they kind of flexed on this design, you know, put the frag pattern on the top, uh, the pocket clip as well. And it is inset into the titanium handles. And these are handles, not scales, but because there's no liners inside, but just big flex on Kaiser's part. They just want to show what they can do. And like I say, this action is some of the best I've felt. Just phenomenal, phenomenal action. Ergos are just perfect. Just really, really good. Can choke up. Excellent. Just been really, really happy with this knife. My wife and kids got this for me for uh, Father's Day. And I just, I love it, man. I changed the thumb studs out. You guys know I do that quite often and you already know purple is my favorite color. So we had to put a purple one on there <clears throat> and I just, I absolutely love it. It's just that just minimal splash of purple that I like. I'd like it if the whole thing was purple, but I like just those little accents of purple like that as well. We do have the rounded um, body screws, but they're like, they're recessed into the to the scale so you can't fill them or anything at all so i actually like the way that it looks but let me see if i can get it to pick up yeah there we go you can see that they don't stick out at all it's pop
pocket clip works really, really good too. Got plenty of clearance. That's another thing that a lot of premium knife companies are failing on nowadays is they're not giving us enough clearance in here. Uh, they work good for like dress pants, but definitely not for like blue jeans or anything like that. But this one's really good. Uh, let's see, what else? I really like the size of this one. Uh, I mentioned that in my last video about the, the regular version. When I first got the regular version, I thought it was a little too small, so I didn't care for a while at first, but it ended up being, you know, a really good knife for me. But this one is just perfect. Uh, perfect handle size, perfect blade size. This is just, this is really my favorite size for EDC. And uh, I just really like it. Feel like I can get pretty much anything at all done that I need to with this blade. It's a drop point, so it's a really versatile blade shape. Can get all different sorts of tasks done. <clears throat> but uh, don't have to worry about, you know, corrosion. You got plenty of corrosion resistance, plenty of toughness, edge, retention. Like, get all that stuff on this guy. So, and I love this texture. It just feels really good in hand with that frag pattern. Um, this one also has a capture pivot. So, you only have to take one, one side out. That drives me crazy when... Knife companies are putting double-sided um, pivots on knives nowadays in 2024, which this came out in 2023. So, but anyway, they still got it right. Uh, there's just no reason for that. You got to get two bit drivers and risk me messing your knife up and stripping your hardware. So, that's uh, just a pet peeve of mine. But we do have a uh, T6. Is that T6? Let's see, it's been a while since I took this knife apart. Check that for you right quick. No, I was about to tell you a lie. We got T8s going all the way around. So that is a huge plus. Kaiser is just really, really dropping bombs. They know what we want as knife guys. They got uh, several knife guys that work for them. So they know what we want and they actually listen. You know, they come on here and they listen to us rant and rave and they pay attention and they deliver. So Kaiser, it's, like I say, it's definitely my favorite brand. But that's enough rant for now, guys. I just wanted to come on here and kind of give a follow-up with this guy. It's been an excellent knife. I'd buy it all over again. Uh, just the S35VN, it's got an excellent heat treat on it. Uh, the titanium, it's just class A. I really like it. And it's just been a great one. The action on it's great. The lock solid. Uh, never had any issues. Just Kaiser is killing it. All right, guys. Knife Life 116. Thank you.